Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I have my cleansing crystal on top of my original tarot deck. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. We had that one popped out. So we have the current situation is the moon, could be Pisces, and that is being crossed by the fool. What do you need to focus on? Oh, take some time out. All right, your past, what are you leaving behind? Four of Wands. Your strengths. Eight of Cups, near future, King of Cups. The advice, we have the, um, lots of Cups energy. Six of Cups, the environment, Ace of Cups. Hopes and fears, the world. Uh, potential outcome, we have Page of Pentacles and the overall energy, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, feeling stressed, having anxiety, overthinking, not able to sleep, not able to focus, you're feeling tired. So we have the current situation is I feel like there's this fogginess or cloudiness that's around you, which we have the Moon card here. And it's just not being able to have clarity, not able to have direction. I feel like there's a new path that you want to go on. But I almost feel like these walls, these there's these blocks that are in front of you. Um, I feel like you want change. Um, definitely you want change to get out of this Nine of Swords energy, right? Nobody wants to stay in that energy. I, I feel that because we have the challenge or, you know, what's crossing that is the fool. And I feel, I feel like it's packing lightly and I feel like you can't have change if you keep bringing past baggage forward with you. Like you could change your location. You could move to a different state or a different country or, you know, you could move to a different place. But if you still have all of those internal baggage going on within yourself, that it's just going to be like you're dragging all of your problems with you. And I feel like what you need to do is focus on those things that you can release and let go. Packing light, right? Because the fool packs light. He doesn't bring a lot of stuff along with him. And I feel like you kind of have these things, like all of these swords that you're sort of, these thoughts and all of this stuff that, you know, is, is stopping you and, and is holding you back. And I feel like you... You want this new beginning, but yet there's, like I said, you can change your location, but it's inside that matters. What do you need to focus on is I feel like kind of reassessing, right? Taking that break, reassessing with the seven of pentacles is kind of taking a break and saying, okay, what have I done so far and where am I headed? Um, what do I need to work on? And I feel like it's sort of taking a break. I feel that there's a partnership that you need to leave behind. I feel like it, it's, it's, a, it's a partnership that I feel, maybe there was a partnership that you left that you keep thinking about and you keep hanging on to that. And you keep, maybe it's past relationships and you're not able to start new relationships or form in current relationships because you're still holding on to a past partnership you know, or things that happened in the past, or, well, you know, every time I get in a relationship, this is what happens. It only goes so far. Or I know this person's going to leave me. Or I know this person's going to do this. When you have the mindset, if that's your mindset, when you start the relationship or you're in a relationship, if that's what you keep telling yourself, then that's what you're going to bring to fruition. That's what, you, that's what you're going to bring about. And I feel like it's kind of looking at, you know, do I keep thinking about a past relationship? Do I keep trying to hold on to a past relationship? Do I keep comparing this situation to the past situation? And you're never able to let that go. Like you're never able to move on because you keep carrying that baggage with you. That's what I said, pack light. Is that what you need to let go of? Or, you know, this is how I was treated in the past. So, you know, everyone else is always going to treat me the same way. But if you go in it with that, with that attitude, then yes, then that's, that's, that's what, that's what you're bringing in. That's what you're telling the universe is that's what, what you want to come in. So I feel like it's kind of reassessing things here. Your strengths, we have the eight of cups is I feel, I almost feel, for some reason, I feel like you're emotionally unavailable right now. 
But I feel like once you're able to realize that and, and, and I feel like once you're able to let go of, of things, like, like you move on and you don't look back. Um, so I feel like that's a good thing, but it's almost like having to get yourself into that situation where you're like, okay, I know I have to move on and don't look back. Like I, I know that this is what I need to do and I know this is what I need to focus on, but I just have to get my mindset in the right place. In the near future, I feel like you're going to be able to release things, that you're going to be able to let go of things because you're going to see what you need to work on and you're going to have a lightness about you. But I also feel like you're going to have this authority about yourself and you're going to say, you know what, this doesn't serve me and I don't want to deal with this and I'm not going to deal with this. And I feel, because I always feel like the King of Cups represents someone who doesn't let things bother him. He's like, you know what, I'm just going to be, let that bounce right off me because that does not serve me. We have the advice, which is, I feel like it's getting back to happiness, getting back to like like friendships and just getting back to the way things were, but yet 2.0, like in a, in a better way. And I feel like it's being silly. I feel like it's because we have the two kids here and I just feel like it's laughing and being silly and just not being so serious. I know that Capricorn can be serious because I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. So I have double Capricorn. Um, so I'm definitely a very serious person and a lot of people will tell me that, but I have a very light side and a very fun side and a very silly and goofy side. Um, but I don't generally show that to people unless I feel that, that I can trust them. But I'm learning now to be more like that. Like I like being that way. I like being fun. I like being silly. I like being lighthearted. I like being goofy. And I like that because I feel like I've spent so much of my life being so serious. And it's like, no, I, I just want to have fun. Like, I don't want to be so serious. And I want to bring out that side that I've always kind of held back for fear of, well, what are they going to say? Or, you know, what are they going to do? Like, I don't care. I don't care how other people react or say or do or feel. I'm happy within myself. And that's all that, that matters. Um, there was something that I did. Oh, that I keep my Christmas tree up. Was it my Christmas tree? It was something that I said to someone and and it was something silly that I did. And they were looking at me like, what's wrong with you? And I said, I don't really care. I said, it makes me happy. I said, that's what life is about is doing things that make you happy. And they were just kind of looking at me and I was like, hmm. You know, then I was starting to second guess that person and I was like you know I don't know if I want you in my life if, if that's how you you know if that's how you're going to be and, and like you're not going to make me feel uncomfortable for something that I like to do because oh it was it was I went to lunch with my girlfriend and I ordered a pomegranate mar uh, margarita and I didn't drink the whole thing. I only drank like maybe a third of it. But I wanted to celebrate something. I was feeling really good. I was feeling really positive. I was, I was really having a good day and I wanted to celebrate. And I don't drink alcohol. Like I don't, it, it's not. It's never been my thing, even when I was younger, which I, I don't have anything against people that do like to drink. I just, for me personally, it's not, uh, you know, something that I, it's something that I like celebrate or I do it socially. And so she was just like staring at me and she was just like scowling at me. And she's like, well, you didn't drink your drink. And I said, well, I don't want to have more, you know, because I'm not used to drinking alcohol and I still had to drive home after lunch. So it's like I didn't want to get plastered and I wanted to drive home safely. And I had as much as I wanted to have. And it made me feel good. It made me feel happy. And she's like, you know, you didn't finish it. And I said, well, I don't want to. And she's like, well, she's like, well, I would never order a drink and not finish it. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I said, you can do whatever you want to do, but I want to do what I want to do. And I don't want to drink the whole thing. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't have to make, you know, end of subject. I'm happy. That's all that matters. And so I feel like, you know, even with, you know, people that you have around you that if they question you, it's just like, okay, I'm going to be myself. And either, you know, if that's what makes me happy, then I need you to understand that. And if you don't, and you start questioning me with the things that make me happy, then I, I need to question whether I want to have you as a relationship in my life. And I feel like sometimes 
when we grow and when we change, we start to change our friendships. And before, I probably would have tried to drink the rest of the drink just to satisfy her and to make her happy. But now I'm like, no, I'm not going to drink anymore. Like, I don't care if you're happy or not. I'm happy. Um, <coughs> and it's being true to yourself and speaking your own truth. And if people can't understand that, then it's it's like reassess. And that's where I'm feeling more of that confidence and that strength within myself is being able to express myself. Um, then we have the hopes and fears, which is the world, which is building the world the way you want it to be and surrounding, making your own world the way that you want it to be. And not accepting things that don't make you feel comfortable, right? And creating your world with the people and the living environment that you want it to be in. And, and even your work environment, like the job that you want to have, the job that you want to do. And to obviously you can't control who you work with and people come and go and all of that kind of a thing. But if you love your job as a as you know, the basics of I love doing this. Like if you're a, if you're a, um, you know, an accountant or, a, a, I don't know, a manager of, you know, whatever it is that you do, that you enjoy the core of that, that that's what you enjoy and that, you know, people come and go and all that kind of a thing. Um, is that, you know, you can't control those other things, but you're like, I really love working. And, and when you get tired of that and it doesn't serve you anymore and you say, you know what, it's time for me to move on, then you move on. Um, and then we have the page of pentacles, which I feel like it's a beautiful new beginning for you. I feel like it's a beautiful new start. It's new beginnings. It, it feels stable. It feels secure. It feels happy. It feels good, right? Because you're saying, okay, I'm not going to carry around all of this baggage. I'm going to, um, release not, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to let go of what I need to let go of. I'm going to reassess what's going on with me. Why am I staying in this nine of swords all the time? I'm going to reassess that. I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm going to get back to having fun and being silly or just being the way that I want to be, um, and not get overwhelmed with things. The environment is, which I don't know if I did this one or not. I think I may have skipped over it, but it was the ace of cups, which is aces are new beginnings. And it's like having your cup overflow with emotions and feelings and happiness and excitement and creating new relationships and, you know, just having fun, fulfilling that cup, filling up that cup within yourself and having that peacefulness with that dove there, having that peacefulness within yourself and saying, I'm being me right? I'm being me. I'm being true to me. I'm being happy about me. I love those things that I do. And I'm not going to let, because a lot of times people, their first reaction is they'll say something negative. Why are you doing that? You need to be doing this. This is how it needs to be done. That's fine, but you do it the way you want to do it. And I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Right? Because I find that a lot of times people will be like, no, it needs to be this, or it needs to be that. No, it doesn't. It needs to be whichever way I feel it needs to be and what makes me happy. That's what I say. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So let's grab a wisdom of the Oracle card to close this out. Loyal heart, so being true to yourself. And then let's grab an, all right, well, let's grab these two, right? We'll grab to the sea, release and let go. I think that goes perfect with the uh, King of Cups. And then we have observer, observer, which I feel goes over here with this. So it's being true to yourself, releasing and letting go what doesn't serve you, and really seeing what's going on around you. Sometimes we're so like, robotic that we just keep going around and around in the same circles and we keep doing the same things and we're not even realizing how we're exposing ourselves to negativity or exposing ourselves to those things that are holding us back and I feel like it's being an observer is when I'm with this person how do I feel when I'm with that person how do I feel when I do these things how do I feel when I do those things how do I feel and just taking more of a um like a checklist. I, I just feel like this is here. It's kind of taking a pause and 
doing a reassessment of what you have going on around you and how can you pack lighter, right? And free yourself. And the fool is somebody who is fool, you know, foolish, silly, goofy, doesn't care, right? That is lighthearted and is fun to be with. And just, you know, he can be by himself. He or she can be by themselves or they can be with a crowd of people and, you know, just feel comfortable with on all those, but not going to, you know, expose themselves to things that make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, we all have those uncomfortable moments, right? We all have those uh, that awkwardness. But if it's not putting ourselves in a situation where we know, okay, this this really does not make me feel good, right? And I'm going to be thinking about it and processing it and trying to get rid of those feelings for the next two weeks, right? I'm just going to keep playing it in my head and I'm going to be like, you know, trying to get rid of it and, and excuses or find answers for it or you know why did this happen or you know so I don't want to spend my time doing that I want to spend those two weeks in a better frame of mind all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and I will see you next time